guys, it's Terry with Eat Plant Based. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Thursday video, and I am on my front porch, and uh, we've got a little bit cooler weather than we have been having um, here in Western North Carolina, so enjoying a little bit of time outside. And uh, I wonder what the weather's like where you guys are. We just uh, had a Tuesday Live earlier this week, and we had folks on there from all over the place, um, the UK and even Hawaii. Guys, remember to pray for Hawaii and the wildfires and all that's going on over there. Um, but we had a great Tuesday Live. We made black bean burgers and uh, chipotle sauce and even my vegan mayonnaise because it goes, uh, it's a main ingredient in the chipotle sauce. So we had a lot of fun, a lot of participation, gave away three prizes. We gave away a book, um, measuring spoons, and a coffee mug uh, with the Eat Plant Based logo that we just got in. I hope some of you are following and have seen all of that. Um, and so I hope you guys will join us next Tuesday. Uh, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm hearing you. I know some of you have asked for uh, a live later in the day. And I do hear you. Uh, we are going to try to do that before too, too long. I've got to got to figure out a plan for that uh, with the schedule and everything. Uh, but we, maybe in the next couple of weeks, we will do one in the evening. It'll still be probably... Um, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I know the next live that we do will be during the day and it will be in the kitchen, but uh, I'll do some planning and figure all out that we can do maybe for an evening live. Uh, but next week, uh, it's going to be back in the kitchen again. We are going to be making um, a 10 minute vegan Alfredo sauce, which is delicious. We make it with cashews and it's so simple to make. We actually had it um, this week for dinner and um, then we're going to talk about pastas because you know Alfredo goes with pasta the majority of the time and uh, I hear questions all the time about the different kinds of pastas gluten-free options other options so we'll talk about pasta we'll make Alfredo and we'll just uh, have a good time sharing because I know this past Tuesday you guys were awesome as far as participating in the live and it's a lot of fun to feel like we get to know some of you my sister helps with the live so uh get to know some of you guys uh, a little bit so i hope you'll plan to tune in and for today if you remember last thursday on video day um i introduced you to nine-year-old millie may and her little brother uh six-year-old emmett they are my great niece and nephew and they live across the road uh, and they have a great farm, and they had brought a harvest basket, and Millie Mae pointed something out to me about that video that I did not realize. Uh, I cut it off suddenly, abruptly. There was another piece to go in it when she was talking about the cucumbers, and somehow that part got missed, but sorry about that. She said, Auntie, why did you cut me off talking about cucumbers? <laughs> I said, I didn't, baby, did I? So she pulled it up and showed me. Uh, I did cut her off, and I did not mean to. There was another piece of the video that was supposed to go in there. But today, I'm going to show you the rest of the video, which is a trip up to their garden. They grow everything organically, and their mom joins and just talks about some of the things they grow in the garden and their favorite things. So it's a lot of fun getting the kids involved. I know for their parents with gardening, what great skills to be able to teach them. And then also to get them involved here, uh, talking to you guys because uh, they're just so mature and so grown up. So I love, I love being able to share. So uh, I'm fixing to show you Millie and Emmett's garden. And if you would just show them some love, leave comments. Uh, Millie loves to read the comments that you guys leave. So uh, please say hi to them. And um, also remember to sprinkle and water Anything uh, on the page, we love when you do that. It helps the community to grow, helps people to become more involved and to see the recipes, especially the black bean burgers. Um, so um, that and the chipotle sauce. If you share some of that, or not, I can't say that word. Mm -mm, can't say it. Sprinkle and water uh, some of those uh, with your family, friends, pages, group pages. We would so much appreciate it. And we will uh, be giving away a coffee mug today. Before I forget, I almost forgot. I'm going to give a coffee away. A coffee away. 
a coffee mug away um, today. So if you would just comment below with, um, just comment below just telling me what's your favorite eat plant-based recipe. Tell me what's your eat favorite recipe from eat plant-based and, and uh, sprinkle it. I can see who sprinkles and waters. So your favorite eat plant-based recipe, sprinkle it. Uh, to your page or somewhere else and uh, we'll choose a winner uh, randomly from the comments and then once a winner is chosen uh, you can PM me I'll, I'll let you know uh, who won and then you can PM me your mailing address and we will get a eat plant-based coffee mug out to you I should have brought one out here and I didn't but um, if you've seen any of the other videos and lives you've seen them they're really cute I love the way that colors pop uh, it says eat plant-based and it says let food be thy medicine so let's pick somebody leave your comments below uh, say hey to Millie and Emmett and um, then take a peek at their uh, at their video that they've got to share all right guys I'm gonna leave an event link uh, above and below so that you guys can uh, have a reminder to join us on Tuesday for the next live all right, take care, guys. Okay, we made it up to the garden, and Millie and Emmett are going to show us around. This is their mom, Lindsay, <laughs> and uh, they have such an awesome garden, guys. Look at this, and Millie, why does it have this fence all around it? Um, to keep deer and raccoons out of it. Yeah. Rabbit. But rabbits still sometimes get in. Yeah. They can hop over so the fence. when you live out here like we do, the deer uh, come and eat everything, and the rabbits. I didn't know the raccoons did. What do the raccoons get? The they get the vegetables too. Who would have thought? Uh, but that's that's the reason it has to be gated like this, or fenced in like this. And so we have all of this land. It was from Grandma. Mm -hmm. They owned it. It used to be a cotton field when she was little, and then she gave it to Papa, which is my grandpa. Name. He um, gave it to my dad. So now we build a house, so we live here now. Yep. There's nothing on this property, so it was just a field. Yep. So it's 20 acres of That um, is awesome. Ground. It's beautiful up here. And, and during the summertime, Dad will cut all of it, and he'll turn it into hay. And we have all our hay down there. Mm-hmm. It's not the beautifulest. We cover it up with the tarp so it doesn't get rained on. Yeah, yeah. You live in a cool spot. Why do you like living up here? Because we're not around a lot of people. And we can ride our motorcycles. Yeah, and your four-wheeler. Mm -hmm. They have all kinds of equipment besides bicycles and everything else. So they're busy riding around. We electric scooters, motorcycles, and one four-wheeler. Yep. This is the country life, right? And what grade are you in? I'm in fourth. Fourth grade. Fourth. And Emmett's about to start kindergarten, so they got a lot going on between the garden and then school and everything. <laughs> and Lindsay works at the school, too. I'm trying to go out. So uh, her mom and dad, uh, their mom and dad, I got a bug on me, uh, both work for the school system here. So, okay, show us what you got, baby. We lost Emmett. There he goes. Hey, Emmett. <laughs> Start with the flowers, okay. Mom, what kind of flowers are these called? Um, yeah, we have some bulbs in there, but I right now it's taken over by grass. This is what happens sometimes in late summer. Things begin to die, and we let Mom, can we brown me? covering these, take These um, kind of flowers are Auntie's favorite yes. last year, but they've mm. died. Mm. They'll come they back next year, though. Yeah, they didn't grow too good this year. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so all of these red, yellow, pink, orange, all of these ones are all These ones, they didn't survive too good. They did look like this. They were an early They were early. Flower. They were my favorite because of the color. It was so pretty. It was like a salmon, peachy mm -hmm. kind of color. Sounds beautiful. And they are beautiful. I and love all that color. We had tons of those. They were just overgrowing and we didn't, we couldn't cut all of them. So they just started dying. Mm-hmm. And then, what was this called? This is amaranth. 
So oh, yeah, yeah. You can, it attracts the bugs with all the other plants just right this one. Mm -hmm. And so you can also use this for dye. So it's if you like, trap crop. if you like mash it up, it turns in all those seeds. Oh. If you get it wet, it starts to die. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, we go over here. These are also a type of zinnias, aren't they? I don't know. This is a wild flower. They're wild. That you guys so planted. these. Um, kind of all died back now. Was this one where the box was? No, you guys just got a wildflower mix. It had sunflowers. It had, mm, I don't even know what they were. Black-eyed Susans. It had some zinnias in it. Ooh, I forgot what, what these this? ones were called, Poppies. but they're very pretty. This is amaranth. These ones they're are green. very pretty. I don't know what they're called, Ooh. but it, it kind of looks like a, so um, like a daisy, a yellow yeah. daisy <laughs> or sunflower. <laughs> And it has some like magenta and stuff around it. Yeah, that's beautiful. And yellow. So pretty. And then over here, um, this isn't really a flower. Yeah, it is. It just hasn't flowered yet. Yeah, it hasn't flowered. Yet. Okay. What so is it? Here? You know? I'm not sure. That came from that wild mix, but you can oh, see okay. that. It's Trying to bloom. Yeah. Over here, we have this flower. These are the weakest flowers we have. Like if we, if we like go down the driveway they'll be drooping whenever we get to your house really okay yeah. all right so they're not as hardy so as the they others either yeah. have to be attached to the stem or inside the water even if they're in the water actually they still droop but they're very beautiful for the time that you have to look at them mm -hmm. so pretty so pretty okay so then this is where what used to be over here nothing we didn't nothing. Anything right here. okay <laughs> and you don't want to come back so um, okay yeah. and all of this Watermelon. Ooh. Our watermelon hasn't been the best this year. No, it hasn't yeah. really. So Is it because it's been too dry tried, or too oh, wet? No, we it, tried it to. Wasn't sweet. It was very oh. sweet. We tried to. We tried to go the like yellow and the orange one this year. Mm hmm And it wasn't the best. It turned out like gross, almost like <laughs> cucumber, almost like cucumber. It, oh. it was bitter. Mm. But we have had a few that tasted really good. Yeah. We'll have to show you the second Most everything plant. we do in our garden is trial and error. And then yeah. all the squash died, so we just brought it down. Well, we're replanting. We and replanted we squash. And then the right purple here. and green leaves, those are purple yeah. sweet potatoes. Oh, really? And we've never done that before, so we'll see how those yeah. turn out. Too. And you still have tons of watermelons growing. The vines. So it's kind of like a surprise if it's good go, go through my favorite. Type that is awesome. Oh, yes. The lupas. Okay. I mean, stop. 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 Yeah, okay. These them. are lupas. They're the kind of, well, they're not. Stop, them. They're not exactly the Ooh. kind that you buy at like Walmart. Yeah, they are. Not the plastic kind. And they're, the, they're, actual. they're not plastic. I meant to stop. And so once they turn brown, mm -hmm. you're supposed to peel all the skin off and there will be like, a loofah in it, but it's not dyed or anything. It's not plastic. It's squash, actually. Hmm? If you eat it, you, you can eat it, but they're bitter. They're, yeah, you wouldn't want to eat them, but they're great for cleaning. You love that kitty cat? You love it. It's yours. Yeah. These are the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. So, right here, we have thrown some dead flowers. Hopefully, they'll grow. Oh, those are beautiful. We didn't plant those flowers and we didn't plant those tomatoes. They, they just from last year. Wow, that's pretty yes. cool. Okay. Very cool. Now, so then you gotta get out of there. This is one of my baby kitties. This is Davy, right? This is Davy. Here's the girl. Here's my She's favorite. A, we've had her for about a year. And it named her, and then we have her twin sister Daisy. I don't know where she went. <laughs> and here is my favorite section. They don't look. Why is exactly this your favorite, same. baby? Okay, so cucumber. these are the cucumbers. Oh. Oh. These are the cucumbers that we showed you earlier. Yeah, from the basket. Yeah. Oh one. yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. We have one right here. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these over here. Uh, these are the um. Pokey cucumbers. The what cucumbers? The pokey yeah. ones. Pokey, that I you okay. Mm -hmm. Can I take it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So these kinds. This is what I was talking about. And then you just run your finger through and all the spikes come off and there's just bumps. There's no more spikes. Mm -hmm. And if you hold on to it like that, spikes will come out. Ah, like that. How about that? They don't really hurt. It just pricks you a little. Yeah. And then you can eat it? And then you have a spike-free cucumber. Spike-free. What you got here? Oh, you're eating the cucumber. Okay, that looks delicious. Here. You like cucumbers, buddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... These cucumbers come all the way above, all the way to right here, and then it stops. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you come over to this cucumber plant. Okay, is this one ready, Mark? No. Okay, well, we can still show you it. So this, these are the smooth cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Of them, this plant, smooth. Mama, it hasn't grown as many as the Pokemon. It might yeah. just be because it's smaller. Oh, yes, our raspberries. Ooh. Yeah, those are beautiful. And they're very sweet. Here, mm -hmm. you have one. Do you love them? Uh-huh. Thank they're you. Really easy to pull up. And whenever you pull mm. them off, they already have the holes in them. Mm. And Delicious. then they, they leave these things. Yeah. Okay. How cool is that? They're delicious. So and sweet. Then over here are snake green beans. Oh, what are yeah. they called again, Chinese Mom? Long beans. Chinese long weeds. So these ones are the green ones. They go all the way up there. And then they switch over to the purple ones. So neat. I had never seen them before you started growing them. Yeah. Such a neat bean. We started growing a lot of new things this year. Yeah. Trial and error. Yep. Your garden okay. is so oh, awesome. Then we go over here, and these are all of our peppers. Oh, so yeah. The green peppers, the orange and red peppers are over there. Are the orange and red ones hot or sweet? Mom. Um, they're, they're mini bell peppers, so oh, the only thing we have that's hot is we have some jalapenos and some cayenne. Okay. Good Everything too. else we do is mild. Yeah. Okay, I know they're we, delicious. Then we go over here. Mom, what was this again? Aren't they strawberries? No. Blackberries. Blackberries. Okay. Well, okay. Blackberries. Right next to you. I picked some. Um, they're not growing they're a lot. Growing. Yeah, I mean, they are growing, but they're not growing a lot at one time. Mm -hmm. The wild berries, they have already grown. So. Yeah. Oh, these are bigger than the wild ones. Yeah. Oh, they don't have thorns. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Summer sour. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then, we move over here. Okay. And no thorns on those bushes? No, nope. we bought these from our um, local extension office. Okay. They do a berry sale every year, so. Oh, thank you, baby. They they're th thornless variety, but they do kind of. They probably needed to be trellis, so we mm -hmm. need to trellis them up. So we just all... planted these. These are brand new plants this year. Oh, wow, they've grown that much. Okay, and then these are purple onions mm -hmm. down there. Okay. Yep. We have clovers and some grass growing over there. Mm -hmm. We pick it a lot, but the weeds just keep growing and growing. Mm -hmm. And so we pick them a lot, though. Yeah. That area we haven't. Emmett, picked. you okay. want to pick a carrot and then, for Mom, video? why do we have these flowers over here? Well, hold on. Emmett's going to pick oh. a carrot. Oh, okay. How do you know which one? We don't. We just pick them. Oh, how cool. Look at uh, that. I planted those. So you much. planted that, Emmett? Yeah, here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to pick this one. Those carrots are gone, baby. Okay. So neat. Do you eat a lot of these carrots? Uh, yes. Because they're delicious? They are. At the beginning of the year, like when it was spring and the beginning of summer, we were growing them and they were sweet. Mm-hmm. They're not so sweet anymore. Not as sweet. We did a second planting for the fall, so we might mm -hmm. get more. Here's some. Remember what we made out of this, though? Uh, oh, yes. We um, made this salad type pesto. pesto out of carrot tops, mm -hmm. and it was really good. Carrot tops are actually edible. They don't taste too good alone, but if you put them in pesto, they're really good. How interesting. That's pretty cool. Where's Daisy? He must be on one of the walks. Right, go around. Okay. Okay. Then we Dicks. have this stuff. It's I'm gonna do cilantro. Cilantro. Oh. These are our herbs. Mm -hmm. this There's two different ones. Mom, are There's they all the same? There's a digging pit. Mommy, are these two separate? That's the same. Okay, this is both Wait, cilantro. This is our digging okay. pit. That's mint behind this you. This is mint. No, no this is mint. Mm -hmm. Three it smells. Well, it's actually four different varieties. It smells you have, really wow. good. This one is a um, 
pineapple mint, and then we have a chocolate mint, and then this one's just regular right here, and this is called cat mint. How cool. I had okay. no idea there were so many Wait, different and kinds. And then this it stuff is kind. kind. This is mm -hmm. our digging pit. We it smells it. amazing. Mm -hmm. Does it smell good? Can I smell? Mmm, that does smell amazing. It smells like you Italian food. Oregano. Yeah. Oregano. Um, that stuff over there chive. is chive. And then this chive. is, what was it again? Hyssop. Hyssop? I don't really know what you do with it, but I planted it last year and it came back, so I didn't kill okay. it. Okay, and then with our herbs, we make tea out of Mom bought these things. Um... They're like these circle things, and you can put herbs in them, and then you just have to heat up water, mm -hmm. and you put them in there, and it makes herb tea that you've homegrown. Or you could buy the herbs at the store. Does it taste good? It tastes really good. Oh, that's awesome. We also have tried honeysuckle tea, but I didn't really like it too good. It wasn't your favorite, huh? No. You The honeysuckles, I guess you just picked them wild? Yep. Yeah. Where we were. I'm looking for worms. You're okay. looking for what, worms. We sing our goji bears the song every morning, and that's I think what we're going to make them That's what we sing. Oh. Emmett, sing the song. Goji berry. No. Go, goji. 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 Too cute. This is Swiss chard. Mm -hmm. We have this purple and this yellow one. They're so pretty. Yeah. And they taste delicious, too. Okay. Uncle Mickey and I have been eating them oh in our my, salads. Mommy. There's an onion. Oh my. That's oh, big. Big, big onion. Hot. Big onion. Because purple lettuce and romaine, and we're letting it go to flower so that we can replant the seed. This was originally arugula. Mm -hmm. This is arugula. And we let it die off, and then we just laid the yeah. dead plants in there and it replanted. Actually, I accidentally left one right there, and it, that's all arugula right there. Wow. <laughs> Who knew arugula. that it would be so. Oh, uh, yeah, this is all arugula. It just grows everywhere. How about that? Good thing it tastes good. And then yeah. over here is our strawberries. They haven't been growing at the end. They grow like at the spring and at the summer, they grow a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're. They grow tiny little ones, but they're so sweet, yeah, and they turn good. they turn really red. They're delicious. And they're so tiny. We have some about that big. They're not like this big, like the ones at the store, but they are very sweet. Yes, they're delicious. And then this is um, kale. Mhm. Mm it looks so, so pretty, guys. Yes. So pretty. Did we put any in our basket? I think I put a romaine arugula mix in here. And then here's mm -hmm. more of tomatoes that we planted this year. They're the dying off. The tomatoes didn't. They so died. They um, actually got knocked over in a storm. Mm. So we set them back up, but they're about done for. So <laughs> our tomato season's pretty much. Last year over. our tomatoes were thriving. Well, yeah. It, when it gets super hot like this, too, mm -hmm. they produce a lot. Yeah, I can see that even just with the vine as it is. It's got a lot of tomatoes on it. So they're sage. So these are sage. This is basil. basil. Auntie's favorite. Mm -hmm. And then there's the cat again. Rosemary. This is rosemary. This is parsley. parsley. And then wasn't this lemongrass? No, that's dill that I'm letting go to seed. Okay, this is... That's what? a tomato that just popped out. Oh. See, it has little okay. tomatoes on it. This is my it does. favorite herb, lemongrass. Now, why is it your favorite? Because it smells amazing. Because it smells amazing. Do you use it to cook with? What do you do with it? We, it can, we can put it in tea. Okay, so if you chew on them. Stevia. You, you just oh. chew on them. You don't swallow them. You just chew on them a little, and then it gets sweet. We can dry them and out and stevia. make powder with it. Yeah. Yep. That's like a natural sweetener that you can buy at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. This is the plant, guys, that stevia comes from. Very cool. And it is delicious. It's really sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have Surprisingly. The rest of thank you. Do you what do you do with it? I um I have put it in a really strong proof alcohol and let it soak for a few weeks mm -hmm. and that liquid becomes really sweet. Okay. And so you can use that like when you buy oh. stevia drops or like liquid, that's what it is at mm -hmm. the store. Yeah. So I made that and then we have dried it out and then I just I don't make a powder, I'll just crush it up when I make her tea mm -hmm. and put it in there with the she other. She usually makes herbs this whenever I'm like it. have a cold and stuff. Yeah. But it it 
It sweetens the tea a lot. It's, it's amazing very surprising. that it's a leaf yeah. and it it's has good, that kind of sweetness. It's a good little thing if you just want some sweet and you can just uh, suck on it. Mm -hmm. and stuff. It's delicious. Then this. You already said fennel. Fennel, yes, I have. <laughs> is, is this it bolting? Yep, it's bolted. So oh. I, you can use the plant. We could pick it and use the bottom part. Mm -hmm. At this point, I just let it go to seed and I can replant it. Mm -hmm. That's this more basil. Is basil. This was the other thing That's we parsley. saw over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. parsley. I forgot the name. The, these pretty cinnamon flowers. Basil. It's cinnamon basil. And that was chamomile, but it's died. Yeah, it's died. Very neat. And then over here we have onions. What mom and dad like to do with the onions is they, with our thing, they hang them up and they let them sit in the sun for a few days. Mm -hmm. What reason do you do that, mom and dad? You have to and let it, them dry out, just like you would when you get um, onions at their store, they're dried out. So we, if it's going to be sunny, we can dry them outside. If not, we put them inside to dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last year, we took all of our flowers down and we threw them all in the box, our compost bin, for this year. And we didn't even plant these, so we have some flowers, some. Uh, <laughs> no, we didn't plant any of that. We all have, from we have, we have acorn squash. All from, from compost. compost. <laughs> Very cool. Woohoo! Doing flips. And Good then deal. I can also do this. Okay. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> Good job, oh, Millie. <laughs> and it can do more flips than I Wow. Can. All I can do is a front flip. You did great, baby. You but did I great. Can do a one handed cartwheel. I can do a normal cartwheel. I do a better on ground. It's about to explode. Hey, kind of... okay. watch this. So you're supposed to go like. <laughs> okay, guys. Can you say. What can you say? Like, um. Uh, thanks for visiting our garden. See you guys later or something like that. Yeah, thanks okay. For visiting our oh, on the count of three, let's say it. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Thanks for visiting, visiting our garden. garden. Thanks for visiting our garden. Thanks for showing it to us, guys. It's awesome. Then that's over here is our playground. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Emmett. Yink. <laughs>